everyone, I'm Connor and welcome to my channel, The Closet. If it's your first time here on my channel, I like to talk about all things luxury. So if that's something you're into, I would love it if you could hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified when I bring out new videos. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Furlipage unboxing and also a collaboration with Dale from the YouTube channel, Dale's Addiction, as we both have Furlipage bags that we're unboxing. And, um... I'm so glad that Dale has waited for me for my bag to come because she did purchase hers a few weeks ago now. But we thought that we would both kind of come together and unbox our videos at the same time because, you know, that's what us YouTubers do. Um, and basically, if you've been watching my channel for the past few videos, I have um, started a new job. I left my old job for ten, uh, that I had for 10 years and I now work at a new job. and. I wanted to get a new kind of like tote style bag, more so in like the vertical style, like a north-south tote. And also I wanted to get something to like, you know, celebrate me getting a new job. So I've been thinking about all the different kinds of bags that were out there. And I looked at Louis Vuitton. I even looked at Bloody YSL. And um, ultimately this is the bag that I, I decided with. So I'm going to unbox it and hope you guys enjoy it. Oh my God. This is <laughs> This is the most obnoxious box. So this is the box and it's bigger than me. Like literally this, the width of this box is bigger than my torso. So I'm going to try my best guys, but basically this is the box that it came in. I don't know how I'm going to do this. One moment, please. I've never unboxed a bag this size. The tissue paper. Ooh. Let's get her out. Ah. Also got came with the shopping bag. There's a book in there. There's another envelope. What's in this? Oh, it's got the care cards. There's a little card in there. And then I think this must be the invoice. Mm. Yes, and then this is the invoice. Alrighty, the bag. The moment you've all been waiting for. Okay, before I <laughs> unbox the bag, I, okay, so. Last week, I purchased this bag and it arrived and I had purchased it in the, I think it's like the walnut chest brown, chestnut brown color. And when it arrived, it was actually damaged. So I believe in transit, the bag got damaged and it was scuffed. So when I saw that, obviously I contacted Phil Lepage and I said, look, it's damaged. And um, they didn't have any more of that color anymore. But it was kind of a blessing in disguise because when I was towing up between what colors I actually wanted to get, originally I wanted to get the black color, but I thought it was a bit too, like it was a really nice color, but I just thought it was a bit too like boring. And I kind of was like, it's a special kind of bag. I kind of want it to be a bit fun. Um, I didn't want to get the navy because my hands-on um, 17s already navy and I kind of wanted something different. So then I thought, okay, I'll get the brown because it's like not super traditional, but it's still kind of safe. Um, but I actually, my heart was set on this color and when that bag arrived damaged and they didn't have any left, I it was meant to be and I got this color. So you're going to see what it is very shortly. I'm going to like put it down below. Ta-da! Yay! So this is the Daily Battle Tote Vertical in the 33 size, which is the larger size of the bag in the vertical. And I got it in the Empire Green and it is so beautiful. Look at that. It's going to take all the stuffing out. So with Furlipage, because it is a relatively uncommon brand and there aren't a ton of videos in, on YouTube and not everybody has pieces from this brand, I really loved my hands on 17. This bag that I got and I just found when I wore it, it, I don't know, I always reach for this bag and I think because it's very playful and I love the canvas and I just love that it's so different to anything that's out there that I felt really, really comfortable carrying this bag. So when I was looking for a tote bag, Verlepage wasn't my first initial thought. I went through all the normal brands like Louis Vuitton and I just found that all of the bags that were kind of out there, don't get me wrong, they were good, but they just kind of, 
I don't know, like they, I, I felt like if I was getting it, I was just ticking a box like, okay, I need a new bag, so I'll get that. You know what I mean? Like it didn't do much for me. But I, when I went to Fur Lepage at the end of February for my birthday and I saw these bags, just in person, they just, I don't know, you just get a different vibe in person versus, versus like on photos and on social media and things like that. And when I saw it, um, I just loved it. I actually didn't pay too much attention to the colors. I just more looked at the bag and thought, oh, the colors, you know, that'll be easy. You can just pick it when you want to get it. But I, I just fell in love. So this is, like I said before, the Daily Battle Toad in the 33 um, in the vertical style. So it's a very traditional north-south tote. Um, and it is the um, Empire green scale pattern, I believe, which is all canvas. And then this part of the bag is leather. It has feet and then the handles um, are leather as well. Let's get all this off. We'll take the little feet things off. Okay, cool. So that's the bottom of the bag. It has four feet. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's just, it's just so pretty. The green is like, such a beautiful green. It's like a forest. It's crossed between like a forest green and an emerald green. And I'm not a green person at all. Like I don't have green things. I don't wear green. I don't, you know, have any other green bags. I'm very neutral, I guess, with the colors I pick. But for some reason, I was just like, I want this bag in green. I don't even know why. It's just such a beautiful green. It's so just... I hate using this word, like I hate this word because it is such a wank word, but it is an elegant, <laughs> can't even say it, it's just an elegant green. It's very, I don't know, it's just elegant and pretty and I just absolutely love it. So, wow, sorry, I'm, I'm, I haven't actually opened this bag fully. I've opened the box before I started filming and just had a look, but I'm kind of taking it all in as I film, so bear with me. But it is just beautiful. It's such a, like, yeah. But look, it's so pretty. Okay, so with this bag, I'll go through some of the features that it has. So like I said before, all of this part is canvas. It's their silk pressed um, canvas. And Dale and I were actually having this conversation because she did go into Fur Lepage um, when she went to Melbourne and she also purchased a bag. So make sure you check out her unboxing as well. But this canvas in video and in photos, it is totally different to in person. And I'll try to emulate it, how it kind of looks, but it's quite hard to do. But this canvas isn't like Goyard canvas where it's quite shiny and smooth. It's actually very coarse and there's so much texture to it that it, it actually reminds me, you know those magic eye, photos how it kind of looks like there's dimension to it that's what this canvas has but it's not like dainty and kind of you know delicate looking and just like that pretty it's actually quite it's got some you know character to it and some grit I guess and it in person it just kind of has a totally different feel so I know that kind of doesn't really help you when watching the video, but if you can go into a Fur Lepage store and actually look at the products, you will get a total different vibe versus seeing it, you know, on a video or in a photo. And that's a big, one of the, like a big selling point for why I picked this bag as well, because just, there's nothing else really like it that I found with, with canvases. Um, it's different to a Louis Vuitton canvas, because, you know, I find Louis Vuitton canvas is very, it's, it's got more structure to it and it's a bit more firm, but more coarse, but this has a lot more um, flexibility to it, but it feels better quality. It feels like it's got more to it. And I think it's to do with the way that the canvas is actually printed on. They screen, no, what's it called? Silk screen it on in layers. So for example, like this color is all done and then this color is done and it's done in layers and it just gives it that dimension. So I can't really compare it to other canvases because it really does stand in its own kind of league, but that's one of the big selling points as well. Also with the bag, um, it has adjustable straps. So as you can see, there is notches here um, on both sides where you can adjust the straps. So you can have it as a bag that fits under your arm 
or you can have it shorter as a you know to hold it predominantly handheld or depending on your arms and depending on how you want to have it you, you have that option to adjust the handles and not many totes or just bags in general that have handles like this give you that option if not any so that is also another big selling point um, I'm not really like someone who would wear it over their shoulder because that's just not really me I'd prefer to carry it, but you know, I don't know how heavy it may be on one certain day Maybe I want to do that and I'll do what I want to do. So there's you know, there's that's my option to make secondly I I like that it is the kind of hybrid between the leather and the canvas and it kind of elevates the bag gives it a more of a professional look but also like casual at the same time because you kind of get the best of both worlds um the leather kind of trimmings and the base and the handles makes it just look like a better you know a better bag and it just gives it that more luxury feel that you that you want out of stuff i didn't want a bag that's all leather as well because when it rains or if you're caught in the rain obviously you don't want all the water sitting on that because it can stain swell and all of that but this little bit of leather and you know a majority of it being canvas it kind of just gives you that added benefit of durability um secondly sorry thirdly i should say the bag has feet and i love feet on a bag because i'm somebody that'll just put my bag down if i have to put it down i don't really like being super precious with things and um the fact that it has feet not only elevates the look of the bag, but it is um, practical as well. I actually noticed just before when I was peeling off the um, the little sticker things that they actually have their, I think that's on the side, it ha they have their Arthur logo, like the man in the, ar the armor. <laughs> that's one of their logos and they have that on the feet. So it's so cool that they've got so much attention to detail with things like that. Um, Fourthly, <laughs> on the inside of the bag, I'll try to show that it kind of won't appear very good, um, is that it has a, a leather slip pocket here. Basically, it has this leather pocket um, that has a slip in here. And it's a requirement in the Connor world that the bags that I take to work have that because I put my like security pass, my train go card thing, um, and my, I have another security card for work. I put them in this part of my bag. So when I'm carrying it and I have to get my card out, it's right at the top and I can just put my hand in and do it. So, um, I've been taking with my laptop bag, um, my Loewe puzzle bag, and that has that pocket in it. And because I've used that bag for a month going to work, it's so beneficial just having the bag on me or holding the bag and knowing that I can just put in my hand in and pull out the card. So um, that was a big kind of tick for me. And also like to put your wallet and other things just right in here because this bag is so large, you don't want it getting lost in there. And it's always good to kind of have, not have to rely on like a pouch or something inside the bag. Secondly, it has a D ring here. So if you do want to attach something to that, whether it be one of their kind of O case equivalents um, or, you know, like a key case or something that you can attach with the D ring, that is always an added benefit. I love that the hardware is a very light gold hardware. It's not too yellow. It's not rose gold. It's not silver it's just a subtle amount of gold it's probably looking silver but it's a very light champagne gold and it just contrasts really nicely with the bag and it doesn't deter away from you know the kind of overall look of the bag the weight of the bag is very um light for such a bag and um obviously um my laptop at the moment i have a laptop bag just like one of those normal standard laptop bags that laptops come with um, and although it has a shoulder strap, I don't carry it. I like, sorry, I don't put it on my shoulder. I just carry the bag. So, um, I kind of wanted a bag that was not overly heavy with its features, you know, where it's like all leather. It does get quite weighty and I didn't want to, I already knew that carrying my laptop and all the other things that I would need for work obviously take up some weight. So I didn't want the added weight of just an all leather bag, but, um, the next part of this bag, which is really cool and is very unique to totes, is on the inside, I'll try to show it, there is a base, but the base is actually removable. So it is a solid piece of leather that um, has like these two things that you can pull the bag out of. Um, and it just says on there, Furlapage. 
you can take this out which gives the bag more um, flexibility so say for example if you're using this um, you know not for work and you're using it as an overnight bag you have that option to fit clothes and things in there that don't need structure so it gives you more room in the bag and it makes the bag a little bit more floppy and a little bit more casual um, and it's just the option to be able to take this out is a bonus because you don't know like when you spend this much money on bags you want to get as much you know bang for your buck as they say or as much flexibility so taking out the base which is also a base shaper out of the bag gives you that option to fill it to its capacity if you want it to be a bit more structural or you want to reinforce the bottom because you're carrying something heavy like a laptop you then have the option to put the base thingy my bobby base shaper let's call it a base shaper the base shaper back in it's quite thick and um you know this this it's quite substantial like it's not just a piece of felt it's a leather glazed piece of material that you know comes with the bag and it gives you that option so that was also a great selling point for me as well and there it is guys there really isn't too much to this bag it's a very simple design but it does have some great features and great differentiators from the other brands when i was looking at for example a one of the damia graphite louis vuitton totes First of all, I was looking pre-loved just to see what was kind of out there and a lot of them, whether it was from misuse or just general aging, the kind of leather on those bags just doesn't really last very long or doesn't really last very well. It gets very, um, like, what's the word? It gets very shiny, but like shiny in a way that it kind of looks worn, not used, and I just really didn't like that. And they were quite expensive too for what you were getting. I mean, I was just looking at totes in canvas that had 20% leather and they were nearly $4,000. And I was like, I can't justify that in my head for such a bag like that. Like, not saying it's not worth it, but I'm just thinking I would rather spend that kind of money on an all leather bendy bag or whatever it may be. I just didn't feel like the price matched what you were getting. And also, yeah, like the way they wore and the way they kind of looked after a few years just wasn't good enough in my opinion. Um, when I was looking at YSL bags, they were just very plain, like a lot of YSL bags, um, which if that's what you're after, that's what you're after. But I wanted something, <laughs> I wasn't, <laughs> I was reaching for the stars, no. I just wanted something that was a bit special and a bit different and, um, you know, just not the old average bag, I guess, but still had the kind of average features. The only thing that this bag does not have is a strap option. You can't attach a strap to it. Um, and when I was initially looking for tote bags, I thought it's got to have a strap. I want it to have a strap, blah, blah, blah. But then after the month of me at my current job, I've the laptop bag that I have, I've never put it on my shoulder. I let the strap thing hang down and I'm always carrying it. So that kind of spoke for itself. And I thought, okay, you know, maybe I don't really care that much about a strap because of the size of the bag, I guess. And when it's on your shoulder, I found that it was quite heavy and bulky. And you know how you kind of digs in and you lean on one side so I kind of didn't really think about wanting a bag with a shoulder strap after that one thing I really do like about the Fur Lepage and their bags is they're very practical and stylish at the same time they incorporate practicality and aesthetics very very well um, like for example having this um, loop what's it called the thing that you thread the loop in they've made this part when there's nothing in it actually moves to help glide the strap when you're undoing it so when you're moving the strap through it like this this part actually glides like it's so clever and um, the fact that you can actually adjust the straps i know i said it before there's no other bag really out there that lets you do that gives you that option because everybody has different size arms everybody has different um you know drops that they're comfortable with giving that option with such a simple solution by putting notches and an adjustable you know part on the bag is such a practical and doing it in such a aesthetically pleasing way isn't you know like putting the man on the moon so i'm glad that for lepage have actually kind of found that differentiator with these tote style bags i know that they're daily battle totes in the more traditional kind of horizontally portion sizes um, get compared a lot to the Neverfull, but 
having that option is just such a genius thing. I also like that how they, it's kind of different on each side. So you've got the adjustable bit on this side, but not this side. And then it's on the opposite part of the bag on the other side. It just gives a good aesthetic, a good balance, and it kind of gives a playfulness to the bag um, and just kind of keeps it fun as well as stylish at the same time. Now this bag cost um, 2010 Australian dollars. Um, and this is the vertical daily battle tote in the empire scale green and I am so glad that I bought this bag. It is just absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad that I ended up going with the green. It's just such a different color for me, but I kind of don't really care if it goes with stuff because I just like the color and I'm kind of trying to more steer away from that. Oh, the bag doesn't match because it's a color. I'm just kind of going with the flow and I just, I'm really happy that I bought this bag. It's such a great way to celebrate my new job. It's a great way to, you know, travel in style and I just really love it. Hope you guys like this video. I'm going to pop all the details of where you can purchase Fur Lepage things from and the store details in the description box below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you can also go and check out Dale's video because we did collaborate for this as well and um, let me know what you think in the comments. But thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you all next time.